My name is Kathleen and uh, I'm a carer for my husband Brian who's got multiple health problems. I've been caring for Brian for about eight years now. I'd just like to share our story um, about uh, how we've navigated some of the organisations that have helped us through the years. He has uh, chronic asthma, which he's had all his life, but he's been diagnosed with Parkinson's now, oh, in 2003. This didn't give him too much trouble to begin with, but he was in hospital a number of times around 2007, eight. He wasn't able to move around as well as he used to and he was having quite a few falls. I was worried about leaving him for any length of time. If it was just going up to the local shops, I was comfortable with that because mobile phones make it a lot easier these days. But if I went too far afield, I mean to, if I visited my daughter who lives at uh, about 60 kilometres away. I was a bit worried about that. We knew that we wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things together we hoped we'd be able to do in retirement. Travel looked as though it was, out, it was gone and we have family and uh, friends scattered in different parts of Australia. So that was difficult. What we needed was to stay in our own home so people could visit us. It was suggested we needed to uh, perhaps contact organisations about respite care. The council was suggested and we did that and they've been wonderful. We've had them for a long time. His condition became worse. So then we needed to find somewhere else. So I was at a bit of a quandary then. I rang Care of Carers Victoria and they were really helpful. They put me onto Life Assist. We were offered a little package that was we could use for respite care. This was also consumer directed because I heard about that and I thought, well, that really suits us. It means we can tailor the uh, respite to suit us because it rolled over from month to month. So I could save some up for the end of the year when the grandchildren had different things on that I could participate in. And that's worked extremely well. He was going to respite care out of home for a while. It was quite traumatic actually. He doesn't sleep in a bed now because of the asthma and also his weakness. He needs a lift chair. That's a bit unusual as far as some of the uh, respite care places. They don't cope very well with that. We've been able to tailor Brian's needs and my needs through the consumer directed care, respite care. It's much better for him to have 24 hour care here, which is quite expensive. So we need to save respite care sometimes so that I am able to go away for a few days. To be able to visit family in Queensland and that's worked really well for both of us. Our two daughters uh, both work full time and uh, they don't live particularly close. Well, they'd love to do more, but uh, they have their own lives, they have their own families. We don't want to uh, restrict those. When you start off, you feel as though you don't really need too much help, you know, and you, it, it, sometimes you feel a little bit guilty about accepting the help. Now we have a higher level package which is, uh, has just come through and we realise that's going to help considerably. Other organisations have been good but they weren't prepared in many cases to alter those services. But with Life Assist they've tailored the program to suit our needs and they also keep contact to make sure that things are going along all right. We've formed a relationship with them. We know a, a number of the carers now and uh, the same carers are coming. They're fitting in with what we need and what Brian's interests are. I mean, sometimes he can't read very well because he's got double vision now, so they may read to him. He enjoys music and he, they've helped him to access music through the iPad and he was able to ask them to do things that uh, 
he needed. It, it means that I feel comfortable now going away for a few days or going quite a long distance because I know he'll be well look, looked after.